Pearl Harbor and and the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Uh, when when that occurred on December seventh, what what were you doing? Well, I was in I was in the bed. I was in my bunk, mm -hmm. just laying down in the bunk. I wasn't sleep, and all of a sudden this the bombing and stuff started started shaking the ship. And then I didn't have nothing but my skibbers underwear on. I got up and went up to the top side to see what was going on. And then they said, bombing Pearl Harbor. And all the smoke and the bomb was exploding. And then what we did, and our ship, uh, since I didn't have a battle station on the job at that time, I just kind of more or less sort of uh, stayed around the gallery serving coffee, whatever they wanted to. And that lasted for about uh, three or four hours. And after that, uh, then they got to ship. The crew, a lot of people, was, they were over in Hawaii for uh, overnight. They stayed there. If you were a certain rank, you could stay over there overnight. Oh, but see, on the island. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was only for our, uh, more or less petty officers and the officers. And uh, I don't, I don't remember any of the lit, any none officers then, because I didn't know really <clears throat> very many because I was just on the ship there temporarily. Because mm -hmm. I had come out to Selfridge and got on the Java, and I was just waiting for uh, Captain Craig to make, make the. Uh, get his uh, uh, assignment and they, at times that they knew something was happening and so uh, after uh, he came on said I could go with him. And so when the, the bombing started you were on the the destroyer Jarvis? Jarvis. Okay. And you stayed on there. Yeah, well stayed on the Jarvis about maybe a week or so before they assign him the squadron or ship to go up to Alaska. But uh, on the uh, Jarvis, uh, we patrol out to sea and I've got the life jacket on and I kept that life jacket on day and night. Mm. We didn't pull it off. And so we'd have time, there's somebody thought they saw it, uh, maybe in a, uh, uh, another uh, uh, ship out there, but we didn't find another ship. They thought that uh, uh, they had a uh, ship was going to torpedo us. Mm -hmm. They thought they found the torpedo, but the Japanese did have torpedoes in there. Uh, we were right there at the harbor. One of those two men sub came in inside, but we didn't, uh, at that time we were, I think we were outside. We had to patrol there, and our ship was drove, but a lot of ships were burning, and they couldn't even go nowhere because they were incapacitated. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, since the job was, wasn't hit or nothing, we went on out there and patrolled to uh, a good long bit. I reckon it must have been a, a week or so, and then after that, and everything kind of got cleared. Then we were assigned to uh, to uh, another squadron. Were any of your friends, people you knew, had 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 uh, been on the ship with or whatever? Any any of those uh, people you know end up getting killed or hurt? No, not on the ship that I was on, because I was on the job. Only thing about there. Uh, we were, we would we get some repair, and there was a crane over the, uh, over the bow, and there was a tree over the, over the, uh, no crane over the bow, and there was a tree over the, uh, well, after, and, uh, it, and also, our ship was, uh, it was, and there was a warehouse as long as we lost out of dock, and they couldn't see the ship, or they, be, I mean, they couldn't see that the ship, because the Japanese tried to bomb it, 
then we hit the crane or something like uh. that. And so we did, we, the ship didn't even get a, uh, anything, no more shrapnel from bombs or guns, something. We had about two or three guys got injured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was about the only thing we got during the time that they were, uh, the three or four hours that the battle was going on there in Hawaii. Captain Craig come on ship and he decided uh, he was going to Alaska and I could if I could go with him. And he said, yeah. And I got a chance to get off that ship and I got on the USS Case. Okay, so you got off the Jarvis got on the case. and got on the case. And that was about a week's time? No, just about three or four months. Oh, three or four months. Because time. we didn't go to Alaska until uh, war broke out in December. We didn't go to Alaska until uh, I think it was by March. Okay. We stayed around the harbors there and we patrolled there. We went out to a, uh, the Solomon Island and uh, quite a few and, and we fought some battle out there, and, uh, and they were always uh, looking for planes and ships and things. And so uh, we dropped uh, depth charges out there when they, they thought they saw a uh, 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 Japanese sub. They dropped a depth charge. Yeah. And so we kept that up for quite a while. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the States. Mm -hmm. That's the time when we went down to the States there. That's the time I met Dara Miller. Uh, over in San Francisco? Over in San Francisco. Dory Miller was one of those figures from um, the from World War II or from Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. that supposedly he uh, manned one of the uh, ship's guns and was um, shooting down Planes and yeah, he was credited for shooting down two two planes. Mm -hmm. He was on a battleship, I think it was it. I forget the name of that thing in there somewhere, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a lot of people on there got killed. Mm -hmm. There wasn't nobody to man the and so he had probably had been noticed, and he was able to man the gun. Mm -hmm. And they credited him shooting down two Japanese planes. Uh huh. He, uh, it was uh, he meant that was the uh, because the plane came down low, and he had this uh, twenty millimeter, forty millimeter, and he shot down the plane. He knew how to handle. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But more or less, blacks didn't. They and the only reason he was able to do that is because. The other people had gotten hurt, and nobody was manning the gun. Mm -hmm. And so he just got up there and did that. Yeah, and he was a big, a big star when, they, when we were there in uh, in uh, Frisco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were down in Oakland and uh, Frisco and Mary Island, please. And everybody. Yeah, all, all, the, all the ladies wanted to go out with Darwin, you know. No, oh, because he had a reputation. Oh, 